first saw your video on the PSP 3000, your review of it, and I have to agree that the PSP itself is an underrated system compared to such things as the DS for Nintendo. And not to doubt the DS, I think it's an awesome system, but I actually like what the features I have on my PSP better and the way I hold it and everything. Mine's actually a 2000 while you have a 3000, but I still like the design of it. I got mine with the Star Wars Battleground bundle, so it has Darth Vader right there. But I think as a handheld, it has some really amazing capabilities. I know one feature the PSP has that you didn't mention in your video is that it is Skype capable. Which means you can log on to Skype using the PSP. With it, is that I don't, I mean, from what I can see, you can't use the text communication you can with Skype on your, P, on your PC. And you need um, to attach a microphone to be able to use the voice chat. But if you have a microphone, then you can use Skype from your PSP, which I think is amazing. Another thing I like is that, yeah. Like you said, you have the PS1 games you can download from the PlayStation Network, and that the video quality on those are actually better than trying to play them on the PS3, even though it is backwards compatible, which is one of the reasons why I like the PlayStation genre in the first place. I have my PS1 games I still play on my PlayStation 3. But one thing that, P that Sony and PlayStation is doing is that they're taking those old PS games and actually re-releasing them on the UMD discs. One of them being, which I was surprised, is Castlevania, back in 2007. This is called the Dracula X Chronicles, which means they actually have um, Rondo of Blood and Symphony of the Night on one disc. So I was actually really excited when I saw this for $10. You were saying that the selection is actually kind of limited for the PSP, which I don't really agree with. I find I have a lot of PSP games. I mean, probably just because I have more time to collect than you have. These are the ones I actually keep with me in my case. Now, you probably can tell I'm a bit of a Square Enix fan. I mean, look. They even re-released the original Final Fantasy 1. And what's really cool what they're doing is that they're releasing it with upgraded graphics and newer content. Okay, speaking of Final Fantasy, you say you haven't really checked out Final Fantasy games for the PSP. Um, I wanted to show you the opening sequence of Crisis Core. Just, I mean, as somebody who plays Final Fantasy games, you know how incredible the graphics are in Final Fantasy. actually a prequel to Final Fantasy 7 and if you play it, a lot of things a lot of the events of Final Fantasy 7 actually make a hell of a lot more sense than they actually did when you first played it I liked your review and one thing I don't like about the PlayStation is um, you're right they have the headphone jack at the bottom I don't know if it changed going to the 3000 system but on the 2000 you actually need a specialized headset to listen to your Sony which I didn't like very much because I break headphones a lot in general. I didn't really feel like having two sets of headphones. I don't know if they changed that for the 3000. If you let me know, I would like that. But I find it, I find it a great system in general. I can't wait for another one of your reviews, especially Final Fantasy 13, Barry. Come on, I'm dying over here. I haven't played it yet, and I really want to know what it's like. So let me tell me about Lightning, please. <laughs> and I'll see you later.